Hey guys, I'm going to do a video uh, to focus in on the pumpkin patch, the Hapolipia species Columbia. Um, I'm doing this video because there's a lot of stuff out there and uh, I just want to show you how I take care of them and what I know about them. Um, these were uh, first bred and, and traded in Germany and so you'll see a lot of them listed as uh, the Hapolipia species Columbia Klein, Grossa or Formosa. Um, the Klein is the small species and the uh, Grossa and Formosa is the large. Lately all I've been seeing them listed for the large is just the species name, the Hapolipia species Columbia. And if it's a small species you'll find the Klein afterward. So that's kind of what they've been listed to listed as lately. Um, they're a, a, a docile species. They're docile but very skittish, extremely fast. They're hardy eaters, um, easy to take care of, easy to feed. They're really fun to feed. They, they do some great takedowns. Uh, they, uh, they're a burrowing species, but they're out a lot. You get to see them a lot, out a lot. They web, they'll get out and roam around. The smaller they are, the more quick they are. Um, I've lost a lot, not lost a lot, but I've had a lot of them escape from the cages, had to, get to, to go catch them. Um, uh, humidity requirements for these guys is about 70 to 80 percent. They need quite a bit of humidity um, and they grow really fast. So usually you get them, they're pretty tiny and I'm going to show you, I got a couple, I got some in some different stages of, uh, of their development and I'll show you a couple of them, um, but they grow really quick. The uh, two years and you'll have a have a an, an adult uh, pumpkin patch. Uh, the the uh, the large species, the ones I'm going to show you here, um, they get between three and four inches as adults. The small species, the climb, will get around two inches, um, and then uh, easy to breed. They're not too bad uh, to, to breed. There's no extremes there. The babies are extremely tiny though. So let's show you a few and we'll go through some of this. Set up my camera. Okay. So I'm going to drop the camera here. So this is my little guys. These are what I put them in. Get a little closer. So these are my little cups. This guy's not too, I mean he's tiny, but not, not as, he's a lot bigger from when I first had him. And you can see him there, pretty small. Um, I, this guy's pretty much, he'll eat some mini millworms. He's getting to where he'll eat them now, but pretty much uh, the flightless fruit flies is, is uh, what I feed him at this size. Um, really hardy eaters, and I think that's why they grow pretty quick too. Um, they pretty much will stay in the cups at this size. Uh, I don't worry about it too bad. I can lid the, leave the lid off of. Um, when they get to be juvies though, they start getting uh, to where they want to get out. As soon as the lid comes off, they take off. But this is my little guy. And then we will show you my bigger one. Now I got this one. I put this container inside a container. I want to tip pop the lid and show you and this one likes to take off and the lids open. This one's about ready to uh, be rehoused. But that one's about an inch and a half. Let's see if I can zoom in, show you a little better. Kind of hard to see, I'm not moving. Which is okay, because if he moves, he's going to take off. But there he is. Great eater. You can see how he webs all the way around his container. Um, this one hasn't burrowed. They don't always burrow. But, uh, but they are a burrowing species, so sometimes they do. Um, if you give them somewhere to give them a kind of a hide, they don't seem to burrow. You know, you can... They won't burrow as often. If they don't have anywhere to hide, anything to hide behind, they'll burrow more often. Let's put that one there. And we'll show you my bigger one. This is my adult female. She's not, she's still got some growing to do. Um, this one is the one that I showed you in my uh, last feeding video I did. And 
and as soon as I got her down here to start this video, she hid up in her in her enclosure there, so in her uh, her hide. So we'll have to dig her out. Let me get the camera set up real quick. Okay. So like I said, they are a docile species. I don't hold them as tight little guys. Even that one I just showed you, I won't hold them. Um, just because they're so screaming fast, it's so easy for them to get away. Um, when they get a little bit bigger like this, they're still pretty fast and skittish, but but not not as bad by any means. So we'll get her out. So this one's a little over three inches. Well, no, probably about three inches. Come on. Really fast. I'll try to show you. I'm moving her closure out of the way, but she's walking around. I don't have my camera help here, so it's just me and the tripod. So, yeah, but there she is. Um, she's a beautiful species. As you can see, they're docile. They're not as not quite as quick at this age. You know, once they get bigger. But they are they are fast. They are skittish. She wanted to go back in her in her hide there. So fun to watch them eat. See if I can get the light so we can see her. Oh, she's gonna come out again. Camera's all over. Sorry. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Let's poof, get her back in her enclosure. All right, there you go, girl. So. So there she is. They're definitely a fun one. Um, I highly recommend them. Uh, more of an intermediate species just because of their speed um, and uh, their humidity requirements. You know, they need that higher humidity, especially as slings, but they even need it as this size. They still need to keep that humidity up on them. Um, so they're not as forgiving. Uh, if they get too dry, as some of the other species can be for beginners. But, uh, but a great tea. So, uh, I hope you enjoy my little, uh, little update. You know, I'm, I'm doing these, I got some species I'd like to show everybody and what I've learned on them and, and, uh, hopefully be a little bit of informative. Hope you guys like the videos. Um, and, uh, appreciate it. Till next time, guys.